both an advocate and an arbitrator. And so I read briefs and I write briefs virtually every day. Um, and I'm also frequently asked to comment and review briefs in cases I'm not involved in to try to make them better. It's a topic that I'm passionate about and I'm actually, uh, some would say accurately, I think obsessed with in terms of my professional life. Um, my colleague, um, former Judge Billy Columbaro is a full-time arbitrator who served as an appellate judge for more than a decade. In terms of sheer number of briefs that she has read and thought about, I doubt there are many people in our ADR community who surpass her. Um, and I knew that Billy was the right choice for this program because uh, when we discussed it, she immediately um, said uh, yes and told me that it, it's a subject that she is passionate about. So you have two people who are passionate about the topic and who collectively bring a considerable experience to it. We hope you enjoy the program and please stay tuned and stay awake uh, because there is a prize available as mentioned in our promotional materials. It's a signed copy of uh, Brian Garner's book on legal writing, which is called The Winning Brief. Um, I personally, I always believe that when it comes to writing, you either have it or you don't. And I was skeptical that reading a book on writing could make a difference really to anyone, a meaningful difference. But I've given, but I read it and I was wrong. Uh, and I've given copies to lawyers who were, who described themselves as weak writers. And I saw a dramatic improvement. In one case, I would even say miraculous improvement from nothing more than reading the book and internalizing its lessons. So I personally recommend it, and we're very pleased to be able to uh, offer a copy as a prize. Okay, my first topic is the power of headings. Writing good headings is hard. Strong headings state persuasive, complete thoughts. Headings should briefly make an argument, state a legal conclusion, and perhaps most importantly, support that conclusion. The support is, is a key, and, and it's unfortunately rare. Now, all of that, it's hard to do in an all-encompassing sentence, but you can do it, and I'm going to try to show you how to do it in about 15 minutes. Um, first of all, why is it important? Well, uh, good headings make good briefs. So as an initial uh, answer to that question, you should aim to win the heading battle. In the best briefs, the tribunal or judge can read only the headings and grasp your entire case or defense in a moment. And the best headings move the reader toward the goal line before they've even read the substantive writing. And in my view, it's the secret sauce to a winning brief. And if you think about it, the ability to nudge the decider of your case over to your side and frame the issues under consideration in your way in a single sentence. It's a very powerful skill and it's so often overlooked. Um, it's really a shame. It's a missed opportunity or some people call it a free lunch. It's there for the taking, okay? So in my opinion, using the strategies we're about to explore is the single most effective technique to immediately, today, meaningfully improve the quality of your briefs. And I'm going to try to prove that proposition by asking you to rewrite a heading at the end of this segment using the strategies that we've covered, if you're interested. Um, so let's take a look at the handout um, in your materials, which has a, a, a series of examples um, of, of the headings that I want to explore and to try to show why I feel it's important, why it can make a difference and why it can, uh, a nudge a brief uh, from a, an average or acceptable brief into a winning brief. <laughs> 